Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm in a pine forest today and I want to show you guys a bushcraft method of how you can light a fire no matter what the weather. And using the types of trees and having an understanding of trees and their uses uh, really does get you out of trouble. Everything in here is soaking wet, look. Anything on the floor is absolutely soaked. There's no way that's going to catch fire. We've had a lot of rain and all I can see around me is just brambles, wet leaves and not really much else in here. But there is a tree that'll get you out of trouble. I'll turn the camera around, guys. Look, can you see this pine tree on the floor? You see that old rotten pine? There's a pine tree through here. Can you see where it's rotted away? Just there, look. Look, it's rotted away. But if you notice, the branches don't rot out on pine. You see them in there, the little stubby branches? They never rot away. That's because they're loaded with turpine. Now the trick is, if you see a pine tree like that, can you see where the knots go into the tree? They go into the tree, they go into about here. And if you get one out like that, that's what you're after, are these knots. And all you need to do with these guys, I've got, I collected a few just a minute ago. Look, I've got a really big one there. That is massive. So all you need to do with your knife, with a knife, whittle it down, cut out all the rotten wood until you go to the central core where you've got solid turpine, pine resin, fat wood. And then with a knife, so I'm going to light you guys a fire in real time. So I've made some shavings. And then I've cut some bigger chips off. Okay, I've got my fire striker and a knife. Now I'm going to try, guys, and do this so you can see it. I'm resting my phone on a stick. So I just hope you guys can see this. Just bear with me, bear with me, because I'm only using my mobile phone. Just bear with me, guys. Can you see that? Great. Okay, right, so. All I've got is my fire striker. And my knife, I made some shavings. I put my fire striker in there. Cut off a few shavings. Fire. Look at that, that quick. Can you see? That quick. And then once you've done that, you put your bigger chips on, like that. And the trick is, is not to put too much on too quick. Let it catch. And that is the benefits of pine fatwood. Absolute miracle stuff for fires. There you go, guys. And that is how you light a fire, bushcraft style, in a soaking wet forest. You see that, guys? There you go. Just by scraping the pine off, when that goes into the tree, literally just get all the rotten wood off, scrape it back with a knife or an axe until you come to the core, make some shavings, cut some bigger chips off, put a spark into it, fire. Look at that. And the trick is always carry a piece of pine fat wood with you. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to demonstrate that bushcraft method of making a fire in a wet forest. Even that pine tree was soaking wet. To look at it, you think, oh no, it's wet and rotten, but that's exactly the tree that you need. Anyway, I look forward to my bushcraft event, guys, and I'll see you there. Take care. Yeah, the trees provide fire.